is Dr. Jack Daniels. He's had more than 40 years of higher education experience, ranging from community and technical colleges to graduate institutions. He became the eighth president of Madison College in 2013. The college's new 75,000 square foot state-of-the-art South Campus opened in September. And I, I also want to mention something dear to my heart that I just learned about Madison College. Um, the college won a, a national award in Washington, D.C. about a week ago called the All-In Challenge Award um, for having the highest student, student voter registration rate in the country for a two-year college. So now Dr. Daniels will give us an inside look at uh, the new campus and tell us about its first 60 days. So we look forward to hearing your presentation, Dr. Daniels, and we've made a contribution to the Rotary International Polio Plus Fund as a way to say thanks for speaking to us today. If time allows for questions, Ken Yuska will serve as our, our microphone operator to take brief questions from the audience. Thank you. I've been told that a picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> I'm appreciative of this opportunity to share with the members of the Rotary Club of Madison and the distinguished guests who are with us today to provide you an inside look at Madison College's newest campus, the Goodman South Campus. When I was last before you, it was October the 3rd of 2017. I talked about a plan, a plan for South Campus of Madison College. Today, it is a reality. <laughs> and we have more than 60 days under our belt right now. <laughs> a quick review on how we got here. The college proceeded with identifying a need within this community. The greatest need was in South Madison and the South Madison corridor with its high unemployment rate as compared to the remainder of Madison, significant numbers of underemployed, educational gaps in attainment, and being the most impoverished area of Madison. South Madison, as we defined it, was from Stoughton Road to Gammon 
and inclusive of nearby areas of Meadowood, Fitchburg, Oak Creek, and Broadway Monona areas. The area's educational attainment included a sizable number of individuals ages 25 to 60 who did not have a post-secondary credential and in many instances not even a high school diploma. This is an important data point because next year over 60% of the jobs in our area will require a post-secondary credential and that is only going to rise. To enhance the quality of life of these individuals, in particular, it was important to provide access to learning opportunities that lead to jobs with family sustaining wages or a pathway to further education at the university or other baccalaureate granting institutions. I have to publicly thank the many donors who supported our project. Notably, the three anchor funders, the Goodman Foundation, Ascendium Education Group, and American Family Insurance. <laughs> Many businesses, associations, and individuals provided funding ranging from $1 to $500,000. Faculty, staff, and students also gifted the college in various monetary ways. Overall, the project was supported by $23.5 million in private funding. When you visit our new campus, the Goodman South Campus, please take a look at our donor board and the pavers that have been placed at the entrance of the campus. It was our intent to honor and recognize all gifts, no matter what the amount was. This is the community's college, and having everyone recognized was very important to us. The Goodman South Campus is ideally located. The bus terminus is directly across the street, with several routes concluding at or leaving the terminal. There are many community-based organizations in this area. Among them, Central Hispano, the Omega School, Urban League of Greater Madison, the Literacy Network, Catholic Charities, Access Community Health, Reach Dane, Nehemiah Community Development Corporation, Catholic Multicultural Center, Madison Urban Ministries, Boys and Girls Club of Greater Dane County, one City Schools, the YWCA Empowerment Center, and many of Madison's faith-based institutions. Mount Zion Baptist Church, Fountain of Life Church, St. Joseph Catholic Church. There is also an excellent entry and exit on and off the Beltline that allows residents who are west of us to access our college and not have to travel to the main campus at Truax. That is huge because if you leave where we are currently, it may take you an hour, hour and a half to reach Truax on public transportation. We're providing access right where folks can actually go. The Goodman South Campus is a comprehensive campus. Different from our campus at Villa Jamal, we now offer full programs leading to degrees and certificates, wherein we couldn't offer those before, but now we can. We are a seven day a week campus, providing special program each one of those days. It's tremendously important for the underemployed. They through many of them have two and three different jobs. Where, in fact, will they get the time to get the types of training that is going to facilitate their growth, to enhance where they want to go? We need to meet students where they are and really work with them where and when they come to us directly. 
We need to create that greater access, and that's why we went to South Madison. As I mentioned earlier, this is the community's college. Engagement with the community is very meaningful to Madison College. To represent the cultures of Madison, South Madison, many who have been underserved for many, many, many years. We wanted those cultures to feel welcome. And as part of that welcoming, we had a focus on the African American, Latinx, Hmong, and Native American communities reflected through the Ho-Chunk. We commissioned artists who provided 11 paintings reflective of the history and currency of those cultures. <laughs> to give you a brief run of those, I am going to identify these on the screen, but outside the door there is a brochure, or actually inside the door, that actually is a South Campus brochure that will identify each one of these paintings. And as you come to our South Campus, each one of them will have an explanation of not only the artist, but what is the meaning behind each one of these paintings. Again, representing the four basic cultures that are in South Madison. We also have a community wall. And that community wall represents the four cultures also. These community walls, as you can see, have each one of them have a separate mosaic design that is specific to each one of the cultures. There are also artifacts that were donated representing each of the cultures. Two of my guests this afternoon, Frida Hai Wasihongo Tesfigorius and Jonathan Grambling, put in several hours working with Zebra Dog in designing the wall as well as soliciting artists to, rep to respond to our request for a proposal and following through on their work. They did tremendous work, and I'd just like to honor her this afternoon. And And to Mike Stark. Mike oversaw the constructions, the designs you see in the campus building. And if there's any problem with the campus building, talk to Mike. Mike. <laughs> A history of South Madison Wall is also being created. And there is also recognition for the various neighborhood associations in South Madison. But now let's talk about some outcomes. First, I want to talk about enrollment. We had planned to have 1,500 students for the fall 2019 term. That was starting September 3rd of 2019. We have now exceeded 2,000. Nearly 600 students are brand new to Madison College who are at Goodman South Campus. That is huge. 600 who have not even accessed higher education before now accessing it. Sixty-eight percent of the students are coming from areas strategically focused on in South Madison. It is such a wonderful sight to see students walk from surrounding communities, surrounding neighborhoods, walking to Goodman South Campus to get their education and further training. 65% of our students are students of color. Huge for the institution. So let me talk about some programs. Students are enrolled in the liberal arts. That leads to a degree that
that is transferable. There is ESL, ELL, developmental ed, GED, high school equivalency diplomas, and specific trade programs that lead to work. Let me, let me give you an idea of a trade program. Industrial maintenance technician. Huge demand in this area. And as a side point, that program enrolls many students who are formerly incarcerated. Starting salary is anywhere between $18 an hour and $25 an hour. Huge for the population we serve. We have on-ramps to nursing and other health-related occupations through our certified nursing assistant, practical nursing, and medical assisting programs. We have a strong program in informational technology where we train in Cisco networking and the help desk support technician. What a lot of folks don't realize is that we are the regional trainer for Cisco, have been for 22 years. We also have child development and various science and math classes are also offered. With a focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the campus has four science laboratories, three computer labs. We also provide student access through WebEx and telepresence. Why is that important? Because as a student, I can be on my phone and I can walk right into that WebEx classroom. I can be in my front room. I could be at the Walgreen counter. Access, huge. We wanted to make sure that we had numbers of wraparound, what we call wraparound services. The more services that we provide students so they can be persist and be retained, we know that they're moving on to success. We have full services at Goodman South Campus, financial aid, counseling, advising, disability services. We have a student activities office providing support and activities for students. On a regular schedule, city, county, state, and social service agencies and associations also offer services to students and the community. The college, through a partnership as a result of a grant, offers free legal services to our students and the community three days a week. Our students have several legal issues. They range from housing to record expungement to immigration. Right there, they can get the type of assistance and advice from a legal standpoint that they may never have gotten before. Any service that we can offer to ease transition and move students toward completion, we will try our best to offer those services. Access, as I said before, we're in a prime location. Access from the Beltline, bus access, and being in walking distance to and from surrounding neighborhoods. We also operate our shuttles in areas where transportation is problematic. Meadowwood, Tree Lane, Allied Drive. Again, trying to reduce the barriers students have to come into our institution. And this is one of the barriers of transportation and working very hard to eliminate that. We also have the STEM Academy. This is a partnership with Madison Metropolitan School District. We did a pilot last year. We had 26 students in our first cohort. At the end of their junior year, they had accumulated the necessary high school credits and on average, 30 college transferable credits. <laughs> what that means is that they're halfway to their Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree of 60 credits. Because once they receive that, they enter the university with junior status. The average GPA of those students was 3.47. <laughs>
and all of them are enrolled in their second year. The second cohort of 99 juniors started at Goodman South Campus September the 3rd, with another 100 juniors scheduled to start the fall of 2020. Early returns on this semester closely reflect the pilot class. We know that students who are enrolled in the STEM Academy can receive their Associate of Arts, Social Science degree at the same time they receive their high school diploma. The focus of the Academy is on students of color and females, because the biggest gap in the STEM fields, employment, are reflective of those two populations. We also anticipate other academies to be created within the district. I'd like to introduce you at this point in time to the Dean of the Goodman South Campus, Ms. Tina Ahito. <laughs> what I would suggest very strongly is get to know her. She's a true rising star that is the person to go to at the Goodman South Campus. So what are the next steps we have in mind? Student completion is not just about access, it is about success. Employers need qualified employees, and when we are in a situation where the demand overwhelms the supply, we need to focus on students which we have been doing and will continue to do. Partnerships. Student completion means creating new partnerships and enhancing existing ones, specifically with our business, corporate, governmental, community partners, and our educational partners, K-12 as well as the university. If you go to South Campus, we do have one problem. It's the same problem we have at Truax. It's called parking. We're working on it. As I said, we're going to have more academies. In the child development arena, because of the, there is such a strong focus on child development and child care, and rightly so in this area, it would be nice to provide a great learning environment where we care for children while their parents are in class, as well as provide a cadre of workers at various levels to work in child care facilities and begin the pathway to teaching. Having a facility, maybe it's a joint venture with local CBOs, to facilitate the teaching and learning in this, in this area would be awesome. One of the reasons for locating a full service campus in South Madison is to be a catalyst for economic development. Being a strong partner, we hope to build with our partners a strong economic base. It's so nice to see what has happened and will continue to happen on East Wash. However, there is absolutely no reason it can't happen in the South Madison Park Street Corridor. <laughs> Being a part of those plans is essential to our mission, vision, values, and engagement with the community. And last, but certainly not least, is improving how we serve our students and improving the success of our students. Because students is number one, will always be number one at Madison College. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to provide an update of the Goodman South Campus with an eye toward the future. My time is quickly expiring, but I am available to answer a couple of questions if they are any.